different. It takes me from a place of what I want, the victory I want, the breakthrough I want. It takes me away from that. And it gives me a chance to give Jesus the one thing that only Victor can give. That's why it's a very intimate song. That is a song actually that can usher you into the Holy of Holies. That's a song that ushers you to the secret place. Because it is you personal and him. The reason that I live. The reason I live is to worship you. Amen. When I'm doing that and I'm pushing that way and I'm focusing on him. The reason I live. Pointing begins to move. You'll find obstacles with your family. You'll find obstacles with your spouses. You'll find obstacles coming. Because the enemy is well aware. But if I discourage you now, you will not see where you're supposed to see. The breakthrough you need in your life is not for the faint hearted. It's for those who believe that God is more than enough. If you believe that God is not more than enough, then you will delay getting there. You have to know that God is the only the problem I have with you will solve. If you marry a squid, only God can change that squid. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can you be a squid? I don't want to pick a chapati and pick a salmon when you squid. Squid. Chapati, you talk about me and 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 you talk about me. Only the Lord can do it. Only God can do it. And the enemy will be well aware that the closer Victor is getting, the harder it is. And the more he tells me, Victor, back off. And I get discouragement. The devil knows if I break your will, I break your worship. That's what he knows. And he'll pursue to break your will. Because the devil knows that when you worship, the anointing flows. And he fears the anointing. The devil doesn't fear you because you believe. The devil fears the anointing. Because the anointing is what takes him out. Out of God's scriptures, outside of the anointing, he's not afraid. But he knows that he or she will get this anointing if they stay longer. And a Jew, that if Mike holds on a bit longer, just a bit longer, his door is opening. But let me break his will now. Amen? We used to say funny things when we were young in, in uh, maybe when we were uh, young in, in uh, ministry. I don't say young in something else. And I remember we used to have crazy statements. And let me tell you, worship, staying with God matures you in funny ways. There are things that you tell Jesus. Like, Lord, you talk to Mr. Moja, you can't hear Mungu, Mungu is delivering you. Lakin Mungu is here, you can't talk about your work. You can't talk about your work. Lord, that cannot happen. You can't talk about your work. 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 First Lord, how? I went to sleep at my friend's house. Through the night is when I had a discussion with Jesus. And I realized something. That God was telling me, you cannot tie my power, my glory, my sovereignty to your door being closed. Never tell God that, Lord, this can never happen to me. Ah, ah, eh, 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 eh. Oh, yeah, please. Okay. To test now, will you still stand or will you walk away? God is good? I don't know who someone that is, but let me move forward. God is good. They are going to be for them. But let me move forward. God is good. Number two, worship gives you comfort in the fire. Worship gives you comfort in the fire. Daniel 3.16. So it's a famous story, but read for us in you. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. I've picked this for a reason. God is good. You know the story, they say our God is faithful, they come for us, and they go into the fire and they worship, and the Lord comes to them there. But I like it here because they choose to ignore him. They understand that the moment they get in the fire and they begin to worship, that they'll be comforted there. Even if the fire will kill them, they'll still be comforted. If you ever gone to Uganda, the place where the martyrs, those boys were choked, and you've heard the story, I've heard the story. If you hear the story, it's a very powerful story, almost like this, or just that the ending is different. God is good. They say, the eyewitnesses who are there say this. They say that these boys were singing in the fire when they were burning. How about Uganda? 
they sang. Then at some point, their song changed and it became as though they were singing with angels. That's what the own look has said. And they said the level of praise and worship that was there was so powerful that the guys who were burning them now got concerned. But do my upper do my above. The worship that came from the fire and it went high, went high, went high. And I mean high not in terms of speech, I mean high in terms of levels of, of uh, grace, getting deeper into the Lord, deeper in the Lord, until there was a sudden silence. They all went silent at the same time. They were in the fire, they were not screaming, literally burning and worshiping God. Amen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego get, get the better version of this story. God is good. That, there's a, that Jesus appears in the fire. I've already said here before, but one of the things I do in my life personally is I worship through it. Any Christ I find, I take it to worship. Any Christ I find, I take it to worship. I go to worship. Because God will comfort you in worship. Please note that it might not change. Attack any better disclaimer. In the money back guarantee. There is no way you'll be sure it will change, but you will feel better. God is good. We have been the first time me and my wife had been wrong. You know, we have to say this story first time and second time because we have a bit of experience. God is good. First time we were robbed. She was a couple of months pregnant with Joshua. And uh, I've remembered another testimony. We lost very many things that time. We lost our the TV went. Um, something was given as a gift to sound. One of the things that hurt the most that we lost was her laptop. Because her laptop had our honeymoon photos. Photos that had gone to their place to pay the honey, all those things. They disappeared. We have no honeymoon photos. Hallelujah. No honeymoon photos. Jimenda. God is good. But the Lord lives. God is good. This year for anniversary. Mount Berega Dubai. He gave him a coffee boy. Who is Mount Berega Dubai? He has redeemed my name. He has redeemed my name. As I said, I will give you a coin number to go with your honeymoon. I will send you some pictures for the honeymoon. The kids asked me, I took your mom for honeymoon. There was no doubt at all. God is good. But if you look at the place you went for honeymoon, it's good there is no doubt. <laughs> I don't think it's a story I like to share in, in terms of photos. So the Lord was planning ahead of me. God is good. <laughs> and I remember when, when he got robbed, I remember we were so depressed. The first thing I had to do was to forgive our watch, our watch lady because she was the one who cut the package. Lord, the reason I told the guy to take her out, release her. I felt forgiving her is the first way to open a door for restoration. Amen? Someone asked him for, for forgive them. Sky Kai Apo. Sky Kai Apo. Amen? I knew that God has better things for me. So one day I said to my wife, let's go to the supermarket. Let us go and claim the things we lost in the supermarket that God can give them back to us. To go in the supermarket to get a Nakumat guy, to go in to claim TV, to claim video. Halfway through it, we got so depressed. Because the reality of poverty woke up. You saw me and I said, Yes, you know, we have to do that. I'm always in the supermarket. I can't buy that, can't buy that, can't buy that either. And we left the supermarket, both of us, very quiet and depressed. It was a long walk home. Happy on the Rejani. We are both very sad. We are up our to restore timing because to the new my reverse and we can't even restore ourselves. We sat in the house, turned on some worship music, and we began to worship. I wish I did that before I went to the supermarket. <laughs> that was the wise thing to do. And we worshiped, we worshiped, we worshiped, we worshiped, and the Lord, of course, promised restoration. He promised us he's going to, to restore us. And thereafter, of course, I remember I broke down in laughter. The Lord poured joy in my heart, and I laughed, I laughed. That's how much I laughed. I think for about 40 minutes, non-stop, I was laughing. He poured joy in my heart. Did the things get restored tomorrow? Absolutely not. They didn't get restored. In fact, that year things went worse, because that's the year when the 11 bob story towards the end. So things didn't even get better. 
ziliteremuka but every time we came in the morning to worship every time we came to worship he comforted us are we communicating he comforted us every time i woke up in the morning i came on my knees and i worship the only tool i had in that time was worship nothing else I'd wake up in the morning, go to the living room, sit on my carpet, worship, break down and cry and cry. I told you I couldn't even buy her a maternity dress. Alivan was expand by faith. Leona Mungu Exodus. Lord is good. Was it expand? There's a time we were invited. Maybe I'm telling story. The time we were invited. She's on bridge, let me see. We invited, I was invited to be a chief guest at our school. I won't say which school. And I was the chief guest. But to my end, I was the chief guest. That's where I am. Na I am going to buy my expand. So you expand with Zuri Kunamari Kumatukana up on you. So back I can jacket too. No matter the heat, I'm going to jacket too. Mini on a suit. Very nice pin stripe suit. Shut your white tie and red. Chief guest. Then I'm going to meet you. God is good. Now we're going to speech. And I get to this school in the middle of nowhere. I have to be picked up. I have no car. Then when I enter, they say the chief guest has to sit on the stage. And the chief guest, Lomiake, Hapa, <laughs> kuna issues. I don't have to tell the issues. But there were some material issues. So I'm thinking, why am I sitting on that stage? So I said, I'm a stage giving. Okay, I'm here, chief guest, come give an award. Those no. <laughs> God is good. <laughs> and you see, all through that time, he was comforting us. I remember I was given a check that day, quite chief guest. Check here, 2,000 gold. How do you get a check those days? <laughs> and you know, to be figure for a man, we have no fair back. So I'm in the pocket, I have a check for 2,000 shillings, and I can't go back home to Rogai. So a Jamama invited my chief guest, do I want to pay a lift back at the area? Hallelujah. God is good. Hello. I am a living testimony of the goodness of God. Amen. And the faithfulness of God. He never fails. God is good. But when you worship every time, He comforts you. Because when you worship, the Lord keeps your heart in place for the miracle. Comforting is, I'm giving you new hope. I'm giving you new hope because I'm not done with you. And the time hasn't come, but I will bless you. But keep on coming. Worship sustains you. If things might not change that day, and I want people to understand this, you might come here for worship, have a powerful experience, and you feel something happens in you, anything you feel. That doesn't mean things change tomorrow. But it means that the Lord is aligning you for change. And God comforting you is not a waste of time. God comforts you to align you that you don't get lost. To not communicate And that is why the enemy likes to fight us because we don't like to be comforted. We want answers. And that's why I see people who are miracles in my gazette. When someone comes to see me and they get disappointed, that she could prophesy, Victor Mono could prophesy. No, I don't do witchcraft. No. You have to walk with Jesus. It has to be a love relationship. Mambo ya last. Enda kwa leo Nigeria pale juu. Wakombea maanda we. Huko. Are we communicating? I have to know that he'll align me. And there are people who come and literally you look at them and you know their wait is long. The people who sit, you know their wait is long. And you see, I can't tell you your wait is seven years. Chesi kuambia. Na kuambia we kuja tu. Kana yesu. Because seven years the move on up shaking years, you know. Hello? We have to go to speed. That's what I do. I need to know the back and we are getting seven years. He like cause him when I find up and beating up like here like here like a summer. And God has said seven years. And some people don't wait that long. They forget about the manna season. With God never underestimate the sustaining grace of God. When God is preparing for something, you have to go through a season of manna. And many of us don't know how to be grateful during the season of manna. Season of manna means this. You will not be able to own a Ferrari. You won't be able to pay your rent on time. You won't be able to pay school fees on time. You won't be able to have the food you want, but that your heart desires. You will eat the food that is, uh, that is there. God is good. Could a difference. 
Ya kula kenye roi nataka na kenye pesa inakubali. I have been in both worlds. God is good. Hakuna mzuri kama kenye roi nataka. Hallelujah. To me hiyo ni testimony powerful. Kwa wengine si powerful. Those who are vegetarians. Me. Fit testimony. God is good. Let me just tell you passing the spirit. Hakuna kitu mzuri kama kupiga simu nyumbani kusema leo mnapita nini. Niwaambie leo sijui ni sijui ni nini na nini na nini. Now there are kuna apple there's no animal that can that has died by this thing. God is good. Saki, can you just put an animal there? Genesis 9. I've given you animals for food. Can we fulfill this thing my wife? Kuna mtu mzuri kama hiyo. God is good. So very good feeling. Kuna zile siku za oh kuna sapa. Amen. Na una kula tu. Hauta kufikiria ni nini mpango that is that 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 is there. But I'm saying Oh, what was my point, man? <laughs> oh, season of manna, yes. It's good to be grateful for the season of manna. When God is sustaining you, be grateful. You will not sleep hungry. Utapitia mashida, utatoroka hivi, usijuma tokens hiyo nini. Be grateful because look at what you are going through. Can people see it on your face? Do people see what you are going through? If they cannot see it in your face that God is with you it's a season of manna enjoy the season of manna milk and honey will come what a pressure your milk and honey it will come but jengele kwa kio people see me na wana nyumba 50k now why do you have a rent lord you must be doing something in my life kuliko hata unajua shida mimi nazo good morning Unaanza kubwa tu shida zako, you start to prophesy. Mimi acha nikwambie. School fees niko na deni ya 40, rent nilipa 4 months niko na 40 nyingine. Nini zangu ni 280. Kwa nataka 50 shida zangu ni kubwa. Anakwambia ai zako ni kubwa kuliko zangu. What do you the Bible says where two touch and agree? God is good. Hello, I'm in a good mood by the way. Yes. Lakini Mike akikuja ni ebe filter, unataka kugona 200k. Naambia Mike, "Hey, niko na kitu nafanya nayo." Naambia Yesu, "Baba umeiona. You have seen it all. You see it. You see it, Jesus. You see it." God is good. Yes. If I see someone talking about millions, I'm a Lord hallelujah. They see millions, they can talk about millions. So Lord, I call the millions. Hakuna nishi kabo. Yes. Ukipekana mtu akuulize eh hey, by the way where is your husband and you're single useme hey mimi wako mbona ndio aha point point una point hivi God is good unajua point hivi unaweza kuona kwamba anataka kutoka hapa computer hapa aka aka kadi when i was leaving the school i had come through operator because of the time i could only come through operator so i came through operator So I finish the talk. I talk to these parents. I finish. And so I want to leave the sniper. And I was being walked out by one of the directors. And she asked me, "But the next time you come with your car, just tell, give me, t- tell the 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 guard, the license manager, that you'll be allowing you in. Where have you parked?" I pointed. <laughs> <laughs> Then she said, "Oh, you've parked in town." I said, "No." Sikwenda kukubali ati sina gani wewe na mtu ayuzwa baba mureta. Ah no. When we touch and agree, kama umana. Are we communicating? Yes. The mama sees on Mungu kupaka mafuta. You might be so sick and no one knows. You might be dead broke no one knows. You might be going through a divorce no one knows. Because Mungu anapaka nini? Mafuta. Usikimbilie mbili can hand tell God is good. The weight problem I have now came at the height of intensive poverty as my wife. Nilinona wakati wa shida. Hii shida nilipata ya kunona. Wacha tuchange kwa mambo ya analytic kidogo. I added weight at the time when we went through the hardest financial difficulties. That's when I had so much weight. I was looking at people people couldn't even believe what I was doing. God is good. In fact, God is in reach when I talk to my, to my mom. Now my mom is doing what I was going through then. She had no idea. Tunaongea. Mana, usi complain to your mana. Some of you your weight is longer than others. Some of you will wait for 10 years, others will wait for 5, others will wait for 6 months. Whatever your weight is, look at the mana. Thank God for mana. When you thank God for mana, you know what you're doing spiritually. 
you are increasing your basket for milk and honey. That's how you get vineyards you did not plant, houses you did not dig, wells and houses you build, wells you did not dig. That's how you get it. You don't get those wells by complaining during the manasses. Now, you think about sustaining grace? Yes. Number three, worship keeps you connected. Romans 8, 31. Worship keeps you connected. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Amen. Worship keeps you connected. Every time you worship, you are connecting back to Jesus. That's why I said, worship at times is beyond feeling. Feel it or not, just worship. Talk here too. Feel it or not, worship is beyond feelings. Amen. Amen. Next year, when I teach about faith, I will not talk a series on faith. When I teach a series on faith, next year, I teach about faith beyond feelings. Faith is not emotion. God is good. So every time I worship, I'm connecting to God. Every time I worship, I'm connecting to Him. And I must be sure when I lift my voice in worship, I'm connecting. When I connect, there's always a benefit. Because of a Number four, worship separates you. Worship always separates you. Genesis 22, 22 5. You can't be intimate with Jesus and you're coming with the entire village. And Abraham said to his young man, to his young men, stay here with the donkey, the lad and I will go yonder and worship, and we will come back to you. Amen. Every time you enter into worship, be ready for separation. Separation number one in your life begins when you decide to walk with Jesus intimately. Number one thing, because God is only moved by authentic worship. Say my authentic worship. Authentic worship. If for God to get authentic worship from you, God must make you authentic. When God makes you authentic, it means he has eliminated your fakeness. Hello? Akitoa fakeness kwa maisha yako inamaanisha you look at the left and right that 99.999% of you shouldn't do it. Nye kwa mdomo ke kwa disaster. 99.99% of the friends you have in your life are fake. You see what I'm saying? 99.999% of the friends in your life are fake. Some of them want you dead. <laughs> They want your husband, <laughs> they want your wife, they want your life. God is good. They were happy when you lost your job. What up? Where? It's a very ugly insect. Let your mouth. They are there. There are people who, when you went through your divorce, they came to your house to cry with you. But they were saying, I'm waiting for thy husband. To pass by my way, <laughs> I shall show thee what thou art made of. God is good. I'm serious. I had a client in my office. This lady came to my office with her husband, and they're going through a divorce right now. And I can tell you for a fact, this lady, one of her closest friends, within their cycle of friends, were cut while they announced divorce separation give you. Are they talking? Ali Peter on his side. We don't make a blink even. We are not gonna speed, 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 speed. Kabla ni juu. She's in my office asking me for advice. How do I get this guy? Aye. Only when you book, then you can be able to give it. Me, I was on my chair, minding my business. I'm serious. Full speed. Now we same circle. You're telling your friend, you know, my husband did this, my husband did this, and I can't believe I'm going to come miss, happy on Jesus, I did, happy on Jesus, I did. What are the conditions next week? No, what a job! I'm going to, 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 i and that is why worship separates you to a place where you only see Jesus, you only desire Jesus. Worship makes you to stop depending on human beings. You're bangy in a kutoka. You understand one truth 
a human being has a hundred percent chance of failing me. Hundred percent chance of failing me. I was seeing some other person the other day when I come to a tattoo. Yeah, na bibiake. God is good. No, I'm Mr. Parik. God is good. You know, you never know about the next 30 years. I say this as a man who I'm married, I love my wife, I love my children. But I can't guarantee the next 30 years. Bangizamu zinaza amuka. Bangizaki zinaza amuka. Human beings let you down. I'm just telling you for a fact. Human beings let you down. As the Bible says, blessed is he who puts his trust upon the Lord. You don't put your trust on human beings. They will let you down. How many times did you call someone you knew that they help you and they didn't help you? Let's even talk to your own parents. The time you thought that this one my dad will do for me. Okay, I'm going to be funny. It's funny. Human beings will let you down. Worship separates you to a place where it is you and Jesus every time. Unanga yanga Yesu na sema Yesu. I start with you, then I move to the next person. After that, unanga hangover. If people live your life, Hallelujah. First John two nineteen. They went from us to prove that they were not of us. Had they been for us, they would have continued with us. Manalishika. So people come into your life, and God sends someone to the life of Mike. Manalishika Mike umkono. And if you see Mike Harper, Mike another call hangover. I say, oh, I owe this person my life. Who said you owe them your life? Back door closed. I was giving a story the other day at someone in my office. I say, we were, when I began to do ministry, we used to go around schools here looking for schools to give talks, to get them there, to Kizura, Ashu, Lesson, George, Swap, Yuko, close doors, close doors, close doors, close doors. Then one day, I bumped into the former principal of, of uh, Kina High, Mrs. Saima. A good friend of mine. I mean, her, her children were my very good friends. So I met her. I told her, hey, mom, by the way, this one I do. I need to see you. So we come to the office. So I went to see her. Sat in the office and just, what are you doing now? I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing that this year. So me, why can't you do that? Can I hide? Can I be, I'm giving you dates now. Come the next four days this way. I got to four days VIP treatment. We gave very wonderful talks. She paid us so when we went and bought suits. Could you go buy this was in China. Same priorities. <laughs> I was, I was an And that year, she, she gave us back, and it was a huge breakthrough. Did many things. One of my friends was planning his wedding. Part of that money helped us towards his, well, you know, towards his plans. You know. Then, then that year, Kenya High improved. We knew we did a great job. They improved. Did I think we were number one or, 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 or number two? And I called her. I told her, hey, can we come this? I'll call you Victor. I'll call you Victor. I'll call you Victor. And she literally she did not call. She didn't call me at all. Then I bumped into her at State House Girls. And I bumped into State House Girls, I'm going to the principal of the girls. And I'm going to the principal of the girls. Victor does very good things. He can do wonders for your, for, your, for your girls here. And through her reference, I got some, I, I, we were able to do trainings at Sinoth Girls about three years, I think, running. But I think it's I don't know why you Okay, I don't want to call you. Then when I was doing my wedding, there was a field which I did my reception at, 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 at Kinahai, and there's a field which she needed to approve for us to get. And when I called her, I told her I'm doing my wedding, and I'm going to be like, hey, Kiwanja, ah, you're not going to Hakuna Shida Victor. I'm coming for your wedding. You invite me or not, I am coming. I told her even the caterers are asking because of traffic. Can they use the kitchen? I said, man, you can use my kitchen. No problem. That door had closed. Those are people, when their job is done, your life it is done. to prove that they are supposed to go. Some of us, you are, some of you are running over tragedy. You are running after tragedy. Mungu wa metuwa confusion and you are pursuing it. Can you imagine the spiritual image? Kwa uru haiwe unakimisa confusion. Imagine what angels are thinking of you running after it. God is good. Na una pursue at full speed. Na inienda. Mungu anasema haki please. Angels are wondering who was in you. Na ukona hako na hangover. No. Worship sets you apart. It pulls you apart. Worship makes you to begin to understand that as a child of God, that this is not mine. 
that I will walk away from this. I will not accept this. Worship sets you apart. That's why if the deeper you go going to worship, the more you are alone. The more you are alone. You don't worship together. God is good. You don't worship together, Amana. I'll tell you something very interesting. Some, of course, if you see this, there's a problem. <laughs> At times when you're worshiping here, as you get a worship in a endanger place in Guinea, when a part of Guinea, either I'm a pig, I'm a goat, you go, and a pig, one a mungu. The husband is right here. How a guangia, one a pig, one a word there, the papa, and I'm not going there. Abana? There are times in the even I wash him up, Dominic Zimemumani at the S. Yimba. He might told you he can't sing. He is lost in worship, even as he can hear. God is good. There are times to go now, the Mina Wahata Pia, I'm on my knees. Come in, you mania. Mina Wahata, Wati Pange. God is good. When I took Dominic and Yamuka, tell our best story. Once you go up and wash him, neighbor, Dominic and Yamuka, me, I thought it's the Holy Spirit. Gumbe, you see that's a dinner, too. So, I, Dominic is on the floor. Literally on the floor. I'm, I'm in Yangara, I'm thinking, okay. That's why now Java is down. Yeah. If I break a microphone, Chin, after my husband, if I get there, Victor, he belongs to Jesus. I get there, I don't belong to Jesus. I get there. Some of you don't even know Dominic fell. I can't go to a young guy. If I get there, worship separates you. God is good. Kama mungu wa meyanka mbele yako, wea mketu mbele yako, mini kwa na westa yikini. God is good. <laughs> it is personal. Worship sets you apart. You don't worship as a team. That never happens. Mini kiwa hapa, my wife is there, she pursues God her own way, my own way. I cannot start holding her hand in worship. I want to pull her in and ask her kimishika that transfer holy of holies. Kuna transfer holy of holies. Hakuna transfer. It separates you. At that moment, I know that I'm no longer her husband. I am a son of God. And before I was her husband, I was a son of God. And I remain to be a son of God. And that is where I stay. God is good. That is where I stay. That is what I try to push here. But don't think about the next person. You came alone. God is good. Worship separates you. God is good. You can look at Worship changes. Worship changes your focus. Read Hebrews 12 to 1 very quickly. Worship changes your focus. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, mm -hmm. who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, mm -hmm. despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Mike. Worship changes your focus. The more you worship, the more you look at Jesus and you don't look at yourself. I think I'll finish another two I'll tell you the God is good. Because we'll pray with this. There's something powerful that happens when your focus changes to Jesus. Can I ask you, for your focus to change with Jesus, where is your focus? Huh? Where is your focus? I guess the more gay new members was can come up. What was a spirit of boldness? Myself, my issues. Your focus is on? No, before you. <laughs> Where is your focus? Amen. The biggest thing that the devil does in our lives is to always fight that your focus leaves Jesus, your focus goes to yourself. How many of you in this room have ever used these famous words? I will never. Then that thing will leave it. The devil has more joy when I turn my attention to what I can do for myself. 
The devil knows that if you put your eyes on Jesus, you are guaranteed victory and salvation. If you put your eyes on yourself, he can do with you what he wants. Worship makes you to continually keep your eyes locked on Jesus. And that is why I like, even when you're picking the songs of the team, I like songs that focus us on Christ. I don't like songs that focus on us, no. What is when I give him Tizi wana wako, tizi ni wanyonge, angalia baba. I don't like that song, I don't like it at all. Now I don't know what I'm going to do. Tizi wanya dambi, what is that now? Why, 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 why? Worship is about Jesus. Akitwangalia Yesu. The songs we sing and I get confused. Because it has to be about Jesus and what he is about. Not about you. When worship is about you, you miss it. You miss it. Hallelujah. Aki mna nishika. Ingini wina umia speni? Usi ni pite mokozi. Yesu. Anakupita. Kwa ni wene signpost. Unapitwa aje. How does Jesus pass you? How? And he says that you abide in me, I abide in you. How does someone abiding in you pass you? It's like saying that, please, my blood don't pass me by. Nadami wana niyaka. Ode yako kuna madness kilo. But you don't have a kuli. Yesu. Yesu. And you feel you are moving closer to God. If your relative wrote that song, tell them I'm sorry. <laughs> Good morning. You want to stabilize? Can you believe that you are supposed to do it? Ah, I'm telling you, watch it. Sing songs that are focusing on Jesus. And what about Jesus? That he died, he paid the price. In fact, I talk about the seven reasons of worship I'll talk about next week is that worship declares the death of Jesus. It must focus on him. If it focuses on him, I'm going to it. The devil wants every time you present yourself to God. That's why Tafanyanga Makosa, you get angry, you say, I'll never be angry again. I will never do that again. I will never find myself here again. Whenever you say that, the devil says, Oh, you will never. Let me show you what never is. The devil is afraid of a believer who converts everything and says, Lord, I can't make it with you. Your strength is made perfect in my weakness. May you fight for me, Jesus. Lord, I can't sustain my marriage. You help my marriage. Amen? There's a man we met in Mombasa when I was doing ministry at the coast. I think he's celebrating, I don't know how many years, a pastor today. A couple of years, I think like almost 20 or something years. And one thing he told us when we met him and his wife, and he told me something. He said that when he was doing his vows in church, when he was told uh, that part, eh? faithfulness and all those things, all those vows, he said, I will try. He said, I will try. He said, I said, I will try. But I, I, I said, I'll try. I will try. Missy promise I will try. Because me and you are siwezi. But I will try to be faithful. He was telling us, those who promised that they'd be faithful did not become faithful. Him who said he's trying has been able to get that far. Why? It is because he knew that the faithfulness he needs only God can give him. If you trust his faithfulness, he will not get there. You will not succeed in business because you are good in planning. You succeed in business because Christ is the center of your business. He says, if you lift me up, I will draw people unto you. Amen? I mean, unto himself. And because I am one with him, he will draw them to me. Because I am one with him. Those are people. It must be Christ-focused. Everything. When I think about being Christ-focused, then it is easy for me to appreciate what he has done for me. Because I can't focus on a God who's done nothing for me. I focus on a God who has done things for me. If you look at your life, can you see his hand? Can you see him fighting for you? Can you see him picking you up? Can you see him fighting for you? It must be focusing on Jesus. And the worship that focuses on Jesus makes the Lord touch your heart and minister to you. Worship that focuses on you that does not. The first worship we have is in Genesis chapter 4. You know the story? You know the story? So many years. Yes. yes, for the sake of the video. 
Genesis 4, Cain and Abel. You know that story? Yes. What is <laughs> yes. What about a video? What do you video in Zana? We are very smart people here. They in the spirit. You know the story of Ken and Echo? Yes. I'm talking about it yesterday. I don't want to go down. I don't want to go down. The difference between this boy's worship. Is what? Mm -hmm. Sacrifice. Eh? Sacrifice is different. What makes the difference in sacrifice? You're coming close. The blood, the hand. What's wrong with Cain's sacrifice? Got it? Huh? Focus on. It was focused on him. That's very nice. Cain sacrificed. Cain brought to God the work of his hands. Abel, on the other hand, brought another on his behalf. That's Jesus in worship. He brings another on his behalf. He brings a lamb on his behalf. He tells God, listen, I can't present myself to worship. I want to bring someone else on my behalf. May this blood speak for me before you are thrown. And the Lord says, this sacrifice is worthy. This is a good sacrifice. But Cain brings his work and says, me have been working hard here my sacrifice. God says, I don't want that one. Because when it concerns you, if you bring yourself, God doesn't want. When you present to the Father Jesus, he receives. So Jesus made a way through the blood. So when I worship, worship changes my focus. If you read Romans chapter 7, Paul is saying the things I want to do, I don't do the things I do, I do and I don't want to do. You know that story? And he says, oh, wretched, oh, wretched. If you look at Romans chapter 7, something very profound about it. I've never seen it before. Is that it is focused on one very simple statement. I, 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 I. Amen? I, 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 I. But the same Paul comes to a revelation later and says, it's no longer I that lives, but Christ who lives within me. Amen? When the devil comes to attack you and finds you hidden behind Jesus, he gets disarmed. Never present your worthiness to God. Present the worthiness of Jesus. Things of God never fail. Things of man fail. Amen? Amen. Make him be the focus. Because if it's the focus, you're guaranteed of a miracle. I finish with a funny story and I want us to worship and pray. When we were getting married, I think two weeks to our wedding, I'd gone to preach some place in Thika Rodea. I'd gone with, with my wife. That time she was my wife to be. God is good. I was busy showing her off everywhere I was going to preach. And already, I believe that she was a bit concerned. Then. God is good. About a few things. She told me later on after you were married. God is good. And I'm going to go to the we went, and when I was leaving, we were in this place, we were going to another place to, uh, to, to preach. This is another day. When we came out of this, we were crossing the road, she slid and fell. Another day. She slid and fell with a thud. Like a joy, I'm over here, I'm over here. And so when I lift her up, eh, and her leg is bruised and blood is coming out. Now, there is nothing as weak to a man when you see that your wife needs your help and you have nothing to do, you can't even afford bandages. And I was not going to preach that day, I remember. So I'm trying, you know, she's asking me, they don't even have to stay kids here. We are somewhere in Mabari where we are going to preach there. So she cleans up her leg and the wound is there, and I'm looking at her. And at that point, she is calling on the Holy Ghost. You know how I know she's calling on the Holy Ghost? She's not talking to me. <laughs> So I believe she was not thinking I should die. She was calling the Holy Spirit. And she went absolutely mute. She went absolutely mute. So I'm supposed to go and preach. And I was thinking about the deliverance. And I'm to do the ministry. But I'm preaching about deliverance. But I'm looking at her face. And I'm seeing the rage in her face. <laughs> 
And I tell you, in Malaysia, someone, I was supposed to lead ministry, I was unable. Gia Likata, Pakataka, Likata, Likatu, Father in the name of Ivana here talking. And then it is a small this point. So I call one of the ministers, I call Moi, no Moi, come, you, you, you lead the ministry. Moi lead the ministry. In my heart, I'm thinking, Lord, if my wedding happens in the next two weeks, there is a God in heaven. How about what to watch you? Good morning. And so one thing I decided to do. When we sat down, and it was what you're sitting on to our worship, and we sat down, I remember that lady Jesus, what? Wow, this is tricky. Because this actually exposes what she's getting married into. And I'm sure now she's asking herself, is she crazy or not? She's just come back from England. No, no, you're, you're <laughs> culture shock. Turn the music at one step. I'm going to Oh, I'm going to Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yes. She just come back from England. And I don't like Swahili. I don't like Swahili, but I should tell you. I don't like Swahili. And so, and so, when we finish the ministry and we are going home, and we are walking home, and I'm holding her hand, so we took a walk, she can walk to the sugar town, then we walk to where 46 Zico. And you know that is a long walk. Because I'm going to go to the city, I'm going to go to the city, 46. We are walking, it's a long walk. Because that long walk, I'm realizing a few things. One, start a first aid kit. This is your food. Number two, number two, number two. And she has an open wound. So every step I take, I hear the name Poverty. 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 And it's walking with me as I walk. So I put her in, 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 in the bus. And I remember when I preached that day, they had given me, I think, 500 bob. So I get to the bus, and the least I can do is pay her 40 bob fare. So we get in the bus. She's still quiet, calling on the Holy Spirit. So we get home. I drop her at the place, up at Lavington. I'm going to shoot at <laughs> drop at Lavington. Drop at Lavington. She tells me, she gives me a hug and tells me, bye. And she goes home. And I ask myself, he buy me good buy? And I'm buy, buy. What buy is this? So I have a long walk designing this buy. I'm going to design this buy. I'm going to design this buy. You know? And I went home and I sat on my chair. Oh God, if I have a wedding in two weeks, <laughs> this is this, this is abuse. This is a miracle. And I sat there on my on my on my flesh on the on the, on the on the on the floor and I was playing some worship. I remember and the worship continued. And the song which was playing was this song. Um, I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin upon my cross. Call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. And that song was singing, I was worshiping that song, worshiping that song, worshiping that song. That song. And the more I worshiped, the more I saw Jesus. And the more I saw Jesus. And the more I saw Jesus, my daughter said, Listen, if, if this wedding is to happen because of who I am, it will never happen. But if it happens because of who you are, then it's going to happen. So Lord, I'm going to let go. And I'm, let, I'm, I'm going to let you fight for it. So the next day, I had a problem with budget. I had budget problems. I had my quote of the budget to meet. God is good. The next morning I wake up, and that next morning, some of you know this is good. Next morning I wake up, I sit again at, at the floor, and I begin to worship. I open up Exodus 14, Exodus 14, 14 says this in Jesus, you'll see there, you'll see them. I begin to tell Jesus, now I need to do, I want to do spiritual warfare, and I want to buy demons, and I want to call finances from the north, from the east, or from the south, and I want to call money, and I'm ready for warfare. When I begin to try to worship in warfare, I can't break through in warfare. So I back off. And the song which is playing at that time is At the cross I bow my knee Where your love was shed for me There's no better love than this Than for a man to lay down his life for his friend huh? And I began to worship with that song And I came to the place it says You made a way, you tore the veil And I broke down in tears and I began to cry You made a way, you tore the veil You made a way, you tore a veil And I stayed there And I stayed there and I repeated And I was crying on the floor And crying said you made a way, you made a way now, I want to give you a bit of background as well. I'm stepping into a place at that point that no one ahead of me had stepped into. My father's first marriage ended up with a very nasty divorce. God is good. And no one ahead of me had done any wedding. So my parents had not done a wedding, and I was the first one stepping out. So at that point, I'm understanding again what I'm doing spiritually. Yeah. Amen? There's something called groundbreaking anointing. 
When the Lord is shifting you to a new level, it is worship that takes you to a place that no one before you has been to. Am I making sense? Only worship washes you into a new territory. So I'm singing this song and I'm singing and I'm singing and I'm singing and I'm crying and told God, you know what, Father, I will not fight. I will not fight because of what Jesus did for me. I'm not fighting, you will make a way for me. And I stopped and I sat for a few minutes, wiped my face, took my Bible, it was in a black bag, I used to walk in a black bag, it was in a Bible. God is good. Thank God for cars, you carry Bibles in cars nowadays. <laughs> and in phones, God is good. <laughs> How many, I don't know if you have any Bible. Most of you are those Bibles, you remember that Bible. God is good. So I took my black Bible, put it in my bag, went to town to do what I knew how to do. Just to minister. And those of you who don't know the testimony, I've seen many of you here, my dog went. So I'll repeat for those who don't know. Can I do those who don't know? So I went to town to fellowship with one of the brothers, journey with them. Went to see her in her office. We finished, we prayed, we finished. Told her the word and I wanted to leave. So, Victor, your, your wedding is coming up. I said, Yes. And I have not contributed to your wedding at all. I said, Okay, Kunashida. I can be a Kangalia to put a checkbook. She wrote a check. Put the check, gave me the check. I put the check in my Bible, closed my Bible, and I left. To that nation center. I left. In my mind, I thought, Okay, fine, this is, this is good. Tell you, would get me far. Amen? Tell you, would get me. Tell you, would get me. Tell you, so I enter the lift at the center, come to the top in the car. In the lift, somebody has to open the center. Fungua vini, fungua it. Nika simata do fungua. Let me know now. So when I opened the end of the check inside, I saw it was a check for 100,000 shillings. I screamed in the lift. They were like, hey! Oh, what are you do? So I put it in very quickly. And poverty is bad. Oppression, let me not say poverty. Oppression is a bad demon. When you're oppressed for so long, your mind does not understand when God is moving. You frustrate yourself when God is moving. So when I got the money like this, lift the phone that sent by me, 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 me. You can do any check, you can have any two more minutes. He checked in his house with Jerab, the rule is zero. That's my mind. God is good. I fear that she might change her mind. Because I had not seen in the ministry someone give me 100,000. I had not seen it then. So I was thought I'm going to lose my mind. So I went to the bank quickly, came into the bank, and this guy says, This check, it looks like people have a scribble, huh? huh? And we can't approve this check. Kindly give it back to the owner. Because I'm not the devil. The devil that she might have she hand me the ministry to And they are pursuing me. And I was so depressed. I thought, Now, what is this? So in the evening, she came for the meeting. She dropped me for the meeting. So I followed, I told her, by the way, um, the check, the bank said that they can't bank it because of one, two, three, four. She said, why would they just call me? I thought, why did I even just call you? <laughs> but I was like, okay, so what do we do? I can give it back to you, give it back to her. She took another check, looked at me. Then she smiled, then she wrote. She wrote 120,000 shillings. I can be a six zero one was to go and to a mungu. <laughs> God is good. I ran upstairs. Amen. Remember in something. At times, don't get caught up in the miracle. Get caught up in what the miracle means. What the miracle meant at that point that he had made a way. He was already ahead of me. Amen. If I get caught up at what he has given, I will not see his hand. Any miracle you get from God, don't get the hangover of the miracle. What does the miracle mean? Every miracle from God has a meaning. No miracle is idle. So if you get caught up, he healed my body, you are missing what it means. To me, it was a breakthrough. To me, it meant he has gone ahead of me. That things will work out the way they should. Hallelujah. Amen. Worship changes your focus. So at times when you lift our voices in worship, I want you to have simple memory. What has God done for you? What has he done for you? May that be the push you have in worship now. If you can connect with God based on what he has done for you, then you are sure about who he is. Then that sets you up for what he can do for you. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Those, to me, I say those things last nowadays. That time was a difficult time in my life. I'm not be honest. I'll be very honest. Am I seeing trials today? Yeah, I told you a few weeks ago. I have my own trials I'm dealing with now. But I'm seeing him bring mighty things in my life continuously. And I keep on coming. Am I perfect? Far from it. 
but I keep on coming because I know that's where I find life. Keep on coming. Someone drove the office yesterday that if I disconnect this socket, it doesn't mean that there's no power. Huh? It just means that I have chosen not to connect. That's how God is. It's us who choose not to connect. The power is always there. The power of God is working, it is powerful, it is moving. It is ready now to do things in your life now, not tomorrow now. It's us who decide not to plug in. The power is available. What do you want to do today? We go backwards, we move forward. Can we worship? Can we worship? Yes. God is good. I'm finished the rest of the I'll have a moment. Because you're going to testify of what he has done for us in our lives. Amen? We are going to worship for a God you know. And I want you just to look at it and just focus. Heal some of you tonight. He has restored some of you tonight. There are many things he has done. I came to say tonight. It's not an night of prophecy. But he's just done so many things tonight. And today is also drawing some of you, most of you, deeper into a place of deeper intimacy with you. Whatever issue you came with here is not too big to the Lord. Amen? Amen? Amen. I apologize. And I want to apologize for this. I want to apologize for time. And the Holy Spirit to move the way he wants. That's how I've always lived my life. I'm a testimony of allowing God to do what he wants to do. And I apologize at times we finish late. And it's not my intention when we start. I always tell my team every time, let's try finish within one hour, within two hours. But also, I don't know how to stop the Lord when he's moving. Amen? And unfortunately, I am not, um, I don't know how to stop him when he's moving. So, what I'll tell you is this. And this is what I can say. That whatever you're doing now, the sacrifice you're making now, will be worth it. And at some point, you will sit back and testify and say, I thank the Lord for those nights that I spent in his presence. Because those nights got me to this place. Amen? We will all testify about it. I do my best, but I like following with the Holy Spirit. Because when I began this Bible class and I began the ministry, I told God one thing. Let me not be an obstacle for you to heal anyone, for you to touch anyone. Let me not be an obstacle. So at times when I feel the Lord wants to heal someone or do something, I cannot stop because I don't want to be the one who stopped Mike from receiving what God has had for him today. Amen? So I pray for all of you that as you leave this place, the Lord keeps you safe. Amen? I pray that you get journey masses wherever you go. I pray that when you go home, you don't get into trouble. God is good. I pray for you as well. But remember as well, that you're spending time with the Lord and adversity will come. And at times it comes from those you love. It's part of the journey. Amen? It's part of the journey. It is a storm you have to weather. Amen? My mother used to pray from the closet because my father said she's making noise. But one day he got up and said, take me where you normally pray. I want to meet you, Jesus. Amen? So that day will come. But again, I apologize for the time. I truly try. I'm a parent as well. I have not seen my kids yesterday. I left here at 11 with my team. We are worshiping and praying for today. So we left yesterday at about 11. I go to home at about midnight. I left in the morning. Today I went to the studio. Today I'm getting home when they have slept. Tomorrow I wake up early in the morning at 4. I'm traveling to Meru for ministry. I still will not see them tomorrow. I think I'll see them tomorrow evening. Amen? But I know with God it's always worth it. God always compensates you. God always compensates you. So tell Jesus to compensate you. Amen? Secondly, also, we keep on testifying. I'll never stop testifying about God, and I want to hear testimonies too. The Bible says that they were healed and they were saved by the power of the blood and the word of the testimony. So wear your testimonies well. If God has done something for you, usione ayubu. If God has blessed you, speak of the goodness of God. Declare. That's why I like to testify. Miss Yonangi Ayubu. My, my brother is called Job. <laughs> yes. So testify about the goodness of God. Share the goodness of God in your life every day when you have a chance. God has done something great today. The presence of God is still here. 
it has been difficult to stop. I have to really find a way to stop because we are going to enter into another level of worship. Tungeendelea kidogo kwa tunaingia level nyingine ya worship. Amen. Huko ndo kana umananga. Huko sasa mungelala chini hapa. So tumaachi hapa kwa kona. Amen. Tarehe ine tukutane. Haki mwene nyumbani mbariki wene na waombea. Na waombea. We are always praying for you. Every time we are praying for you. Not that. Amen. Yeah, every Thursday evening we are here. We are praying for you. Praying for the class. Praying for all of your needs. That the Lord ministers to you. So know that we are standing in the gap for you and for your families every single day. Sao, sao. Amen. Nimeongea hivi because kuna watu bado Mungu alikuwa anafika pika. Tumemaliza na ma announcement. Kuna chai na rianda si pale. Thank you for the support you give our ministry. I thank God for all of you. We are doing all we are doing here is because of you. I have seen the growth of God. I am a living testimony of the goodness of God. Amen. Yes. Pale nimetoka. Eh? Na sijafika. God is good. Sijafi? How much more for you? Amen. So Psalm 23, surely all the days of my life forever and ever. Amen. And Father, we lift up the offering to you tonight. We thank you, Father. Lord, our lives are before you tonight and also, Lord, we would like, Lord, to put also the work of our hands. May you bless it, Lord. May you keep on working in our lives, Lord, in our families, in all that we are called to, Lord, to the glory of heaven. Just give me praying thanksgiving. Amen. While we are asking to speak your keyboard, feel free to speak. God is good. Tell me alama ya mkasiriko wako. Hallelujah. Yes. Please be blessed. See you next week. Next week we finish this and do other things. Sawa sawa. Akibarikiweni sana. Niko chini ya mnazi. For a few minutes. Niko chini ya mnazi. I love ni funge mnazi. Barikiweni mkiana nyumbani. Salmi wala wananijua. Wala wanijui. Waambie tutajuana.